Hey everybody, Nola here, greeting you again. Do you have a yarn problem? Or maybe a yarn collection is a better way of putting that rather than a, a yarn problem. Uh, quite a few of my friends have quite a lot of yarn in their stash and uh, and I have sometimes been known to purchase yarn that I already had because I didn't realize I already had some. And that's a bit of a problem because you don't really need to spend more money on yarn than you really need to because let's face it, a lot of us are already spending more on yarn than we would really like to um, acknowledge perhaps. So I started this project uh, a little while ago, probably before Christmas, but today's a 42 degree day here in sunny Perth in Western Australia and it is way too hot to be even thinking about going outside, so I'm spending all day inside today. So it's a good time to perhaps progress this project a little bit further and that is to record the yarn that I already have on my stash on Ravelry. So Ravelry is a website, ravelry.com, R-A-V-E-L-R-Y, uh, where you, you can get patterns. You, there are some free patterns. There are um, paid for patterns as well. And you can create your own account and save patterns to your favorites, uh, keep track of progress of projects that you're doing, upload photos of your projects as you're going along. Uh, and all kinds of stuff and there's a section for you to keep a track of the yarn that you have in your stash so as I said I did start putting my stash into Ravelry some time ago it may have even been before Christmas whilst I was on leave before Christmas but it didn't complete it's a bit of a UFO like we've all got UFOs and they're not just knitting and crochet things that are UFOs so in particular, I had started, this is part of my collection, um, I had started recording my cottons in particular. So I tend to have my stash semi-organized. Um, and this particular box is primarily cotton yarns. And I have just ordered a whole heap more cotton yarn from Hobby or Hobie, depending how you wish to say it. So it would be a good idea before that arrives if I can get my current stash of cottons into my Ravelry stash so that when the new stuff arrives I can just add to it instead of having to do the whole lot. So I'm going to show you today how to take photos and add your yarn to your stash on Ravelry. So how do you go about adding your stash onto Ravelry? The easiest way i found is using my mobile phone. I have my Ravelry uh, website and my account saved onto my phone and I'm going to use the phone's camera to take photos of the yarn that I have to add into my stash. So not only are the details of the yarn in my stash but I also have a photo of the yarn as well can be really handy when you're in a store looking at yarn to purchase. You can quickly pull up your Ravelry site and see, do you already have some of that yarn? How much do you have? What colorway do you have? And perhaps even what's the dye lot, which if you're buying additional yarn to add to what you've already got, the dye lot's really important information. So I'm going to open up uh, Ravelry on the Ravelry website on my phone. Just wait for that to load. Click on the little um, silhouette of a person here and the button at the top says upload a photo. So click on upload a photo and then choose file. And one of the options on choose file is camera. So I'm going to click on the camera and I'm going to take a photo of my yarn. I would usually do it not just sitting on my lap but for today's purposes that will do. So I'm taking a picture of this sugar and cream. I'm not sure that that took, oh yep, took a fairly decent photo. So I've got OK, I've got retry. If I didn't like the photo, I could try again. So it's importing that photo into Ravelry. Just waiting for that to pop up. And then it says, where would you like to put this photo? 
So I have the option down here of creating a new project or stash a new yarn and that's of course what I'm going to do. I'm going to stash a new yarn. So the first option, the first uh, field that you have to enter in is, is the name of the yarn and the three dot points underneath it are, is this a commercial yarn, my own hand spun or a yarn that is not for sale. So the yarn name is Sugar and Cream, just going to start typing that in, Sugar and Cream, continue, and you can see here that Ravelry knows about Sugar and Cream yarn and it is um, offering me to select from existing ones. So I'm just going to scroll through there and see if they have the same particular one that I have in front of me. Wherever he doesn't have the yarn, you can continue without choosing one. So I'm going to select that option. I'm adding it to my stash, sugar and cream, the colorway. So I'm having a look at the yarn. It's called Calico by the look of it. So the colorway is Calico. And I have the option here to choose the closest colour so that if I'm in the store and I don't know what calico is, I can pick from a list of colours to say, well, it's that kind of a shade. So this has got white, yellow, red and blue in it. So I'm not really sure what to, um, what to pick for that. I might just pick, um, multi I'll pick multicoloured, which is an option down here so it's multicolored and then it's asking for what is the weight and the weight of this is worsted it actually says it on the on the um, on the ball uh, I will keep it in yards so now I'm putting in the meterage and this is it's approximately 86 meters so I'm going to change that to meters because we you know that we use meters here in Australia so it's 86 and the weight is 56.7 grams so I just enter that in 56.7 and I only have one skein of this. So if I had multiple balls that's where you could indicate that you've got multiple balls and Ravelry will add it all up so that you know the total meterage of yarn that you have for that particular yarn. So where did I purchase it? If I want to add that, add that in. When did I purchase it? I have no idea when I bought this. I probably bought this at Big Bubble in Midland because they have quite a bit, they have a quite a good range or well, they used to have quite a good range of the colorways of this uh, cream and sugar, certainly a better range of colours than I had ever seen at Spotlight. So this was most likely purchased from Big Bubble in Midland. Um, total paid, it's got a price tag on it so I could enter that in if I wanted to. And here it has a section to enter the dye lot. So I have the dye lot. Mm, or do I not have the dye lot? Usually yarn will tell you the dye lot. I'm not sure which one of these is the dye lot, so I'm going to leave that blank. Tags, so the tag I'm going to use is um, cotton. It's one of the tags that I have used on my other yarns, just so that helps with searching. If I'm looking for specific yarns, then it helps me narrow down my searches. Um, and it is stored in my cotton yarn box so you can name your own storage things I do keep all my cottons in this one uh, one storage box so that's where it is uh, there's an option to say this is hand spun and there's an option there to add some notes in but I'm not going to add any notes and now I can click 
save. And Revelry has now saved this into my stash for me with all of the information that I have entered. It's quite handy. Another reason why it's handy to have your stash here in Ravelry is if you're looking at patterns on Ravelry, you can at the same time check your stash and it will let you know if you've got um, yarn in your stash and how much of it you have so you can tell really quickly whether you have enough yarn to make a particular project for which you're looking at the pattern. So there it is, that's how to add yarn fairly quickly to your stash. I'm going to sit here and add, add a whole bunch of this. I have quite a few um, bits of uh, cotton yarn in here as well as a few more over here in another bag which I just found today when I came in here to start recording this. I'm like, oh, I've got a whole lot more that I haven't even put into my cotton box yet. So this lovely kartopu I have already added into my stash so I don't need to add that. I've also added quite a bit of this Flinders cotton which is purchased at Spotlight. That's already in my stash too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sit here and keep adding these cottons in. So when my next delivery of cotton arrives from Hobby, which will probably be in a week or so, probably more like two to four weeks, then after I have added those 10 balls in, all of my cottons will be added into my stash in Ravelry and I will have a good idea of how much cotton I have got and will save me from purchasing things that I already have. I wonder if this is something that you suffer from too, so let me know in the comments downstairs. Do you sometimes find, it's kind of like when you buy things that you've already got in your food pantry, have you sometimes come home from the yarn shop or had some yarn delivered and you go to put it away and it's like, oh look, I already had some of this, I didn't really need to have bought this, but I'm sure you will have found a project to use it for. That's it. I'm going to sit here and keep doing this.